Well, hello there. We're back. And we're here to have a good time. We've just killed Moog in the sewers. Okay, Moog in the sewers. Not Moog anywhere else that he might be. Mm -hmm. Where else could that be? I don't know. Um, we got some stuff to do today, right? We got to continue on in this direction after the sewers. Um, we're nearing the end of the game. Yeah, so I got my list of stuff to do. And I might have to refer to my list here and there because I really don't remember like what uh, what all I have to do here as we near the end of the game. Yeah. Um, there's a there's a guy down here. There we go. This is where all the merchants have gone. This is not my fault. This is not because I've killed merchants, by the way. I mean, I have killed merchants, but they're not here because I killed them. They're here because uh, somebody else killed them long before I got here. So this is not my fault. Just, just to be clear about that. Okay. Oh, I was supposed to let him hit that. It's, it's a key or something. I don't know. It's not something that matters, I'm sure. I thought so. I did think that was one of them. Yeah. Um, okay, this part kind of sucks a little bit because we got to make it down to the bottom, right? Which you can tell by all those blood stains. It's not the easiest thing in the world. Um, it's not, you know, tremendously difficult or whatever. But, um... Yeah, it's very easy to die around here. But we gotta do it, you know? You gotta do what you gotta do, right? Um, oh, I can just go this way. What am I doing? I was gonna try to do a running jump over there. I don't need to do that. That. And then just very carefully... Ooh, that's so scary. And then this... And then, okay, okay, we can do this. Nope, we can't do it. Yeah! It's hard to do a running jump right there because you don't really have enough space, right? Um, oh, I guess I could do the back dash. And then, oh, excuse me. Oh my goodness, excuse me. The back dash and then the running jump. Let's try it. I'll do that. Okay. That. And then this. And then very carefully we walk over here and we do this. And I know. I know. I'm trying. Can I just go this way? Oh god. Okay. It worked. It worked. It's fine. Oh gosh. The little parts where you like slide off of it like that. Why is it like that? Who wants that to happen? Not this guy. Oh, oh, oh. Yep, that didn't work either. <laughs> oh, we're gonna get there. We are gonna get there. There's something really important down there, okay? There's something related to uh, the main, you know, goal that we want to accomplish in the game. Oh, I've missed again. Oh no. I think I had like 190,000 runes. That's disappointing. That's okay. I don't think we really need to level up anymore, to be honest. I think we're kind of we're kind of comfy as far as being able to beat the game is concerned. Um, yeah, <laughs> no, I should pick up my runes. There's zero runes there, so no, I shouldn't. Um, that? That's a little better. And then this. Okay. And then this. Okay. And then this. Whew, it's so risky. 
and I guess now that I know that I need to go that way, right, I shouldn't go to this bottom one. I should go like this instead. Oh, that's good thinking, buddy. Good thinking. A little bit late for that good thinking, but good thinking nonetheless. And then I need to go there. Oh, that was... Whoa, that almost was too far, huh? Okay. Cool. That was not far enough. Awesome. Hey, where am I going, by the way? I thought I was going to the bottom. Am I not going all the way to the bottom? Because there's nothing down there. I'm not sure. No, I mean, I know where I'm going. I'm, I, I don't remember, like, um, exactly the whole thing about it. Oh, wow, I missed again. <laughs> if I could just aim myself properly. No, because now I'm just rushing, right? I just ran off the edge without even trying to, like, um, orient myself properly. Every little thing is going to be all right. Right? There we go. There's one. Oh, okay. There's two. Who even needs difficult combat? You could just do platforming to die, right? Oh, I heard somebody try to swing at me. Oh, cool. My game froze for a second. That was nice. What a perfect time for that kind of thing, huh? <laughs> oh, can you not? Can you not, Elden Ring? Oh, man. Oh, don't jump too far. Don't jump too far.
Hey, we made it. Now we just have to not die. I know there's a tent there with an item. I'm just going to let that tent live a happy life. Because the only way to get that tent is to have one of these merchants attack it. And now that I've made it here, I'm not going to risk it. Okay? Not even a little bit. Not even slightly. I'm going to get the grace. And I'm going to be so happy that I don't have to be here anymore. But we're having fun, right? Look, I can talk to Melina. She is not going to want me to be here. I ask you one more time. Yikes. Please, seek not the frenzied flame. Hey, what's so bad about As the frenzied flame? to become a lord, deny not the lives, the new births of this world. Those who would are not fit to be called Lord when the land they preside over is lifeless. Yeah, but what about chaos? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Sometimes chaos is pretty tempting. Do you ever think about chaos, Melina? Do you ever think about that as an option? Might fix things. Might. Might make them worse, to be fair. Chaos might make things worse, but um, there is but one way to find out. I realized it's I'll be a maiden, and you, surely a lord. I could get a maiden. It will surely open. May the flame of chaos find me. And it's the three fingers? That's gotta be better than the two fingers, right? Hey, this team sounds better and better the more I hear about it. Let's do some chaos. Let's do some chaos. Shall we? Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. Hey, that looks pretty hot. Yeah, that's not creepy at all. That's what I've just signed up for. That seems good, right? This is the good ending? Yeah, this seems like the good ending. Get myself a nice little chaos tan. I'm gonna be ready for the beach in no time, bros. Let's do it. That's a that's a hot tan right now. Maybe it's a little bit more of a tan than I was expecting, but you know, these are the sacrifices that we make for chaos, right? They say chaos take the world. It's got to start with me. It's got. Oh, look at that! Look at that! That is just chaos all over my person. And I've got some cool eyeballs now, too. I can see in the dark. Nice. Hey, and this is an opportunity to change up my armor if I wanted to, because I haven't done that in a while. I've been wearing the Crucible Tree armor. I really like it. Okay. I've got a lot of other options now. I could go back to Radon's. 
I could do the fingerprint armor. That is a great idea. And I'm glad that you suggested it. Look, I'm like Vike. I'm following in his footsteps. Um, and I think it was a it was a relatively lighter set compared to the oh yeah yeah way lighter compared to the other armor stuff right so I can wear super heavy on my other pieces because um, I don't need to wear the full vikes like fingerprint greaves or whatever right they're just like regular greaves um, I could do Radon's greaves I really actually like Lionel's greaves I know they're silly right but they're big pants like wearing my my big pants takes me back to my 90s days wearing some Jinkos. That's a good look, man. Oh, I do like those pants. Okay. And then we could do some good gloves if we wanted to. Some some nice Lionel's gauntlets. Maybe some bull goat gauntlets. Hmm. I think that looks pretty cool. I like it. And then... Oh, I never did get a circlet. Son of a gun. That's kind of what I wanted, so I could see my face and my little eyeballs. Hmm. Hmm. Should we go back to the classic? For the end of the journey? I mean, this the journey is not ending today, by the way. We still have plenty of time left. I think that's I think that's the look. Yeah, I think that's the look. We're back to the classic crimson hood. We're wearing Vikes armor. We're wearing some nice big fat leggings and some bull goat gloves. That's what I'm going for. I really like it. I really like it a lot, man. I think that's a good look. Hey, uh, you're my maiden now, by the way. Could you please restore me with the flame? Could you please run me with well, I'm trying to. Can I? Could you please run me with the I don't have any option to do that. To make me your... Okay, I'm, I'm going to assume that I did that. I don't know. She didn't seem to let me do it. your maiden allow me to divine them all that there is came from the one the great then came fractures and births and souls for the greater will made a mistake torment despair affliction every sin every curse every one born of the mistake and so what was borrowed must be returned, melted all away with the Yellow Chaos Flame, until all is one again. Those who gave it saying they would come and take their torment and melt it no more. And then somebody's not going to be happy about my choice, okay? You have inherited the frenzied flame. Yes. A pity. You are no longer fit. Our journey together ends here. Mm, that's and fair. remember, 
Should you rise as the Lord of Chaos, Chaos? I will kill you. As sure as night follows day. You so will try. For allowing you the strength of runes. Goodbye, my companion. Bye. Goodbye, Torrent. I'll see you later, Melina. It's been a good journey. But now I'm ready for some chaos. Um, oh, we're going back to the grand... Hello, controller. Back to the grand lift of rolled. Here. Oh man, I really like this look. I'm very happy right now. And we're doing something here. <gasps> we're hoisting the secret medallion. Oh. have green eyes now, huh? Their eyes are green because we're going to the Halig tree. You know, eventually. It's not it's not like the first step on the first stop on the list or anything. It's going to take a minute to get there, but that is where we're heading. Um, unfortunately, we have to go through the snow field. Now, I think for the purposes of this playthrough, I don't really have to do anything in the snow field, which is nice, because I don't like the snow field at all. I think we can basically skip the entire snow field. Um, I might take a look at the map and see if there's anything there that I care about getting for any reason. But I think we can mostly just skip the snow field. Um, cause I really don't like that area at all. Yeah. Hidden path to the Halig tree. And we're just gonna pass through here real quick. I see your beast eye quivering. I do, I do. I hear somebody attacking behind me. Um, we're just, we're just marching forward. Okay, there's supposed to be a grace for me to get somewhere. Um, it's obviously not right exactly there. I thought it was this way, but seems I was wrong about that, and that's okay. Hey, can I get your little thing? There you go. I think we're, we're a little too close right there, huh? A little bit, a little bit too close. Does he not like fire? Is he one of those enemies that gets really upset about fire? Who knows, because he's dead now, and we got his ovary. Or I guess, her ovary. Yikes. Sorry, Land Octopus, I didn't mean to, to be like that. I didn't know. I didn't know. Oh, he missed. I missed. Okay, we're running forward this way. Um, there is a little thing that we need to do in this area, but, uh, oh god, he just fell on my head, dude. What the heck? Um, but we, we want to get the grace first. Mainly just so that I have it, and so then we'll pass back through the other way. Lost grace discovered! Oh, I'm gonna die. Hey, how do I heal in this game? No, I'm kidding. I remember. Ha! 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 Okay. A lot of little, a lot of little fellas here, huh? How do you guys feel about some of Taker's Flame? And then, yeah, that, uh, okay. That went well. Good. Nice. Very nice. Okay. We are 
turning back around, going to the platform with the railings and find where the railing is broken. And this is invisible paths, right? I don't remember exactly the path to be taken, but I know that it's an invisible path thing. Hey, we got Boulder Motion Armor, nice. That's where the railing is broken. And invisible path. There we go. Um, we are going over there. Okay. I don't know what my path to actually get there is. Looks like maybe that way. Yeah, I think it's that way. And then you can drop down to the left. Oh, I thought there was a guy there. Oh, there's a guy. That little healing after every kill is really nice. And we got a sacramental bud. Nice, bruh. Mm -hmm. Hey, you're walking on thin air, buddy. How are you doing, man? You got some real magic in them boots, huh? Oh, there's a guy behind me. Be careful. Oh no, that guy just died here. I'm sorry about that, man. This area can be kind of dangerous if you're underleveled. And there we go. Heroes rune one. That's not bad. This guy. Look, this guy's waiting to ambush us once we get down to the bottom. What if I give him some of that? Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, hey, I'm trying to get this sweet spot here. There we go. Listen, little man. You're not the only fight in the room, okay? I also have to kill this octopus. There we go. All set. We got a vulgar militia saw. Apparently I pulled a lever that I didn't know was there. So that's good. Whole bunch of octopuses over there. A whole bunch of little men here. Dudes are all over the place in here, man. What a fun little area. Hey, maybe I should turn a light on. <laughs> I realized watching uh, the last part that I can see reasonably well in the dark without the lantern on. I mean, I prefer to have the lantern on, but sometimes I forget. Um, but in the video, you can't see nothing in the dark, right? You can't see a gall darn thing with no lantern on. So I need to be better about trying to remember to turn on the lantern, I guess. And we have here a boss. Is it a mimic? Oh my goodness. Hey, I have one of those. There's three Lords of Chaos in this room right now. That's amazing, dude. Hey, don't forget about my Mimic. There we go. We're gonna let them fight it out. Oh, mine is way stronger than the boss. Nice. Get a Mimic. Yep, use your shield. There you go. That's a good choice. Oh no, he's using it too. And he dodged, but you didn't. Okay, okay, there we go. Good job. Good job. Nice. Yep, just just keep hitting him, Mimic. Hey, don't make me come in there, because I will if I have to. I like how they have a lot more uh, FP to spam the skill than I do. Mimic, you you gotta you gotta do something, man. You can't just stand there. There you go. There you go. Good choice. Mimic. Okay, good, 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 good. I'm glad that Mimic is upgraded um, because I think. 
if it were actually like a legit fight, my Mimic would be losing. Like, I feel like he's taken way more hits than the other one has. And he's letting that guy heal. Mimic. Mimic. <sighs> Mimic. You're taking too long, dude. Here, I'll help you. I'm helping. I'm helping. Good job, Mimic. You did that all on your own. You did amazing. He was just taking too long, I'm sorry. And we got a Black Flame Monk Ammon, Spirit Ashes, and our ninth and final Death Root. That's exciting. Hmm? That's a good thing. Let's see what we're going to do with that, shall we? If you guessed that we're going to feed them to Garonk, that's a pretty good guess. I can't imagine how you would have managed to guess that all on your own, but I'm proud of you for getting it right. You know? If you didn't guess that, um... You know, that's okay, right? We can't get everything right all the time. Um, Garonk likes to eat death root, right? So when we get a death root, that's where they go. I don't remember what happens. I don't, I say remember, I don't know if I've done it, right? Where I actually feed him every single death root. It is, it is all consumed. Nice. Farewell. Ancient Dragon Smithing Stone. Nice. And a very cool spell. And a Beast Claw Great Hammer. Oh no, he's dead. Goodbye, Garonk. Hey, what does the Beast Claw Great Hammer look like? I don't know if I've ever seen it before. It's a Great Hammer. Hey, surprise, surprise. <laughs> Um, it's holy damage. Yuck. Right? Yuck. Um, slams into the ground, land asunder, five bestial claws. Black nails said to represent Sarosh, Lord of Beasts, who went on to become King Godfrey's regent. Interesting. I wonder if anything happens if you use that weapon in a certain fight where you see Sarosh, the Lord of Beasts. Hmm? No, nothing does happen, but that would be really cool if it did, didn't it? Wouldn't it? That would be pretty amazing. Some special dialogue. Sarosh looks at you with, with your hammer that's got his claws on it, and he's like, Hey, those are my claws, or something like that. He probably would use a different voice. Um, but that would be cool if he did, you know. Um... Oh my goodness, so I've been playing Sekiro too much. That's exactly what that is, because I went to a grace to travel, but you don't have to do that here, buddy. Not necessary. <laughs> we are going to Gowrie's Shack. Apparently. Um, to talk to Gowrie. And exhaust his dialogue. And to buy a spell. Oh gosh, and we have to talk to him again? What? Oh god, there's a whole bunch of talking here, man. No, I guess it's not that much. It's just Gowrie. And then Gideon. And then we're going back to the snowfield. The yucky old snowfield. Don't shoot me in the back. I see you trying. Man, this feels like this was so long ago that I was in this area, right? Like, I, this is not an early game area by any means. But it feels very early game now, after everything that we've done, doesn't it? How strange. Thank for giving the... Understand her fate. You've been a pastime of the lost... Nice. 
What am I? I'm buying pest threads. There we go. Do you have an in you might like? Of Malay. Oh, indeed. It seems the memory is eaten. However, she know. She as I'd a is to be. So this is a what? Thank you. Now, like her. Who's her mother? Green. What a one in truth. Before her, she might very well outshine her sisters. Who's her sisters? Queen Marika and her king consort Radigan. She was born an Empyrean in the age of the Elden Ring. Precious Empyrean was born since millennia fought Radan and then to the resplendence of the Order of Rot. Mm. A cycle of decay and rebirth. Is the Order of Rot really resplendent though? Are you sure they're not just rot? Please make so like her mother, but come on. Do you? It says talk Do to him again and exhaust his dialogue. I don't really trust that he's done. I also, I, it sucks because he got to travel to this grace all the way back here and then run to him again to talk to him. Well, I suppose we're going to do that. That's fine. I love spending a long time talking to NPCs. I mean, that is kind of what I signed up for on this run, right? If we're doing all NPC quest lines, I'm going to be doing a lot of talking to NPCs, whether I like it or not. That's true. That's true. That's a good call. And you are right about that. Hey, I was trying to do a charge attack, buddy. He's still here. I thought he would be gone. Do you? Oh no! I guess that's it. Okay. Um, and then we gotta go talk to Sir Gideon Offnir, the All-Knowing. Get the girl back though I'm not her foster father. Sorry. Ah, I'm glad to see my council is born. Hey, it was not your council, buddy. If you've made more of now, I suppose you'd like me too, my There are four Nicola of the his twin, Luna Princess, and Rani is set all here at the hold. We seek the whereabouts of the if you should learn I'll trade. We bought as such. There are four Nicola. Oh, that's the, the same thing. Okay. Cool. That was easy. I thought. He would have had a lot more to say than that. Um, all right, and then we are coming up to here. Looking ahead at what comes next. Um, so we're grabbing a grace. Is this a grace? Is this a grace? Head outside and grab the consecrated snowfield grace. If I was a grace around here, where would I be? Is this a grace? Should I just follow the lights? Huh, I see it. The guidance of grace. There we go. Um, I have to check my inventory real quick, okay? Before we get to the next, you know, area that we need to get to. I want to make sure that I have something on my person. We do. This is the thing that I need. Okay. Given to protectors of the Erd Tree, its flames are bestowed with a special incantation which allows the bearer to see assassins cloaked in veils. We need that. Okay. We will need that very soon. Actually, as a matter of fact, let's just check and see if I take that seal off because I don't need it anymore. I can't wear it without being heavy load. Okay, well, I guess we're doing some slightly lighter gauntlets in the meantime. We'll wear these stupid things so that I remember to switch to something else 
Look how silly those look compared to everything else. Bull goats were way better with this outfit. Oh, we're going to the map also. Let's mark it so that we don't miss it. Part of the reason why I really don't like the snowfield area is because look at this, dude. You can't see anything. Right? You can't see anything. And I know, I mean, that's on purpose, right? It's meant to be that way. The challenge of the area and all that. Um, but it's just, it's just super unpleasant. Right? Like, that's not fun. I don't like that. So I'm very happy. To, like the, I had no idea what was going on there. I didn't even know there was a drop until I was dropping. Right? Hey, there's another grace. Um, yeah, I really don't like this area at all. I don't remember if the snow ever clears up at some point. Um, oh, it seems like it just cleared up now. Maybe it clears up after you touch that grace. Maybe the area is a lot less annoying after that. Um, but the whole snow thing just, yeah, it's just not fun. I don't like things that aren't fun, you know? So mostly I don't really care to do the snow field. Um, like I said, I will go back and look at, you know, a, a little, uh, a little map online. See if there's anything around there that I actually care to get, you know, any particularly important um, talismans or bell bearings or anything like that. Um, I know there's a couple of dungeons around here. I think one of them might have something that I do care about, but I don't really remember for sure. Anyway, I'll take a look around, but we're not going to do that today. Today... Hey, is that Latena? That's not on my list. Mm, head west of the town, across the river, head on the ground. Okay. Yeah, there's a Latena step, you know, not far from now. But oh no, that's not Latena. That's just the people that are around here in general. Okay, okay, good. Good, good, good. Like the four figures in the Ever Jail. Ever jail, ever jail. Um, that's these things. So there's one, two. There's another tower, I believe, over here. Um, and then there's one to light at the kind of center bottom of the town area. Um, and this is the reason why we wanted to have the torch. Okay. You will notice that I am currently not wearing a shield. And that's specifically because if I wear a shield, that enemy disappears. And if I have the torch, even if it's just on my back, that enemy is visible. So shield guy is going to be doing a little bit of non-shield action just in this area, okay? And that's because these enemies are so... Annoying. And I'm very, very comfortable with not using a shield here. Just to kill them. Um, it's also worth pointing out that it's not really necessary to kill them. You know, you can, you can kind of just ignore them. Maybe not ignore, you still gotta dodge their attacks and stuff, right? But you don't have to kill them. Um... And so it might just be uh, that I that I put my shield on for other parts and ignore them. Also, on the rooftop, you don't need to worry about the assassins, but you do have to worry about snipers. There are snipers up here that will shoot you out of the sky. <sighs> Why would they do that? Great question. Um, they don't like me for some reason, but to be fair, I don't like them either, okay? The feeling's mutual, Brewski. Yeah, 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 that right there, that exactly right there. Can I not actually hit that person from here? Oh, ho, 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 ho! 
Oh, I bet you didn't think I could do that, did you? I bet you didn't know about that ability. Yeah, yeah. Blue silver male armor. I don't think I've seen that before. I know we just put on Vike's armor as a brand new thing, but this is a pretty cool armor. You don't see that every day. Ooh. 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 Move over, Vike. <laughs> I'm sorry your armor didn't last very long, buddy, but there's a new armor in town. Oh, hey, somebody saw me. Don't grab me. Oh, so dodgy and annoying. So dodgy and annoying. Where are you? I'm not even over there, man. You're dancing like a mile away. Can you can you get staggered, please? We both know you're close. No, you can't get staggered. Okay. Suppose that's all right. Hey, I have a dog that I have to stop real quick. going to the last couple of little lanterns to light. There's this cool little, you gotta jump on that thing over there to get to this little ladder to be able to get to everything else that you need to in this area. Um, I think there's some stuff in this area that we don't get uh, as a result of the path that I'm taking here, but I don't think there's anything in this area that really matters. So I'm okay with that. We do the little light. We come over here. That was number three, by the way. Number four is like the most annoying one to get to because you have all these friggin' archers doing all kinds of archer things. I don't know why they have to be like this. But there you go. Oh, can I use my bull goat gloves now that I have a little bit lighter load? Because I'm sure that armor is lighter. I sure can. Do they go with this armor set? <sighs> no, they don't. Lionels? That works. That's good. Oh, I didn't look at my load. Let's, we're medium. Okay, we're good. We're medium load. We're over 51 poise, and we look amazing. All three of those matter, right? Some more than others. Some more than others. A seal was broken in town. And then I believe, yeah, it kicks us out after that. Perfect. And now we can go to the Halleck tree. We're not actually going there today. <laughs> I mean, I am going there, as in, like, I'm entering the area. Um, but we're not doing the Halleck tree today, that's for sure. Um, I don't know when it'll be. I can't see far enough down on my list to know when I'm going to it. But um, we're starting off next time by doing some other stuff that's not the Halleck tree. So we will see if we get to this or not. But for now, controller, don't you dare walk me off the edge. <sighs> I know he's thinking about it. We get to explore all of that stuff. All of that over to the left over there is where we're going. Um, yeah. The old Mikola's Halig tree. Hey, this is a good look that I have right now. I really like this look. I'm really happy with that. 
Yeah. Oh, it's been a good day. It's been a good day. I've had a good time. <laughs> and uh, and I hope that you have too. I'm serious about that. I really appreciate having you here. Um, it means an awful lot to me to have you here with me. Um, if you would consider click, clicking on the like or subscribe, that would be great. Uh, drop me a comment about whatever you liked or didn't like, right? Are you excited for the end of the journey? Are you sad about the end of the journey? Because I'm a little bit sad. I'm a little bit sad about it. But that's going to be okay. We're going to get there. We're going to get there. Not too long now. <sighs> so we are going to come back for next time. Okay. And I'll see you later. <laughs>